of a park council meeting, January 11th, 2024. It is 7.05. And we will start with roll call. Councilperson Passion. Here. Councilperson Green. Present. Councilperson Martin. Here. Councilperson McNamara. Present. Councilperson Call. Present. Councilperson Camera is excused. Okay. Next, we have the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, next, I have. I would like to start off by appointing um, Brady Oxender back to planning and zoning for the next two years. Um, so his term would start uh, January 2024 and expire uh, December 31st, 2025. Uh, to approve the marriage request. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? And we have Brady back. Um, next, we technically have, let's go ahead and do minutes. Um, we have December 14th, council meeting minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And any abstentions? Next, we have the meeting minutes for January 8th for the work session. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, so I'm going to see if we want to do um, vote for our president of council. It is not on the agenda at this point, or if we just want to move that to the end of the meeting in old business, new business. Does anybody have any preference up here? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we have aligned all of our new council people with Committee. committees. Um, that has been done, but the only thing that we actually do vote for is the president of council. So do you guys want to have any discussion president of council? Do we have some nominations for president of council? <coughs> the only thing that I remind everybody is president of council is um, the next in line after me. So in the event that I step down, I have a medical issue, anything like that, that person would step in and do the things that I do. Um, so that person does have a very extensive role in the event that something does happen. So it is um, not to be taken lightly. So think about that when anybody decides to do it. I have a nomination. Okay. I nominate Jason Caro. Okay. Well, I nominate myself an interest, <laughs> cat interest tenant. Perfect. So we have two. Anybody else? I nominate Jason Camaro. Mm -hmm. Okay. So does anybody other than these two at this point in time? No. Okay. Um, do we want to just do a roll call vote? Mm -hmm. Are you guys okay with that? And of course, Jason is not here, um, but he did express his interest um, when he was here at the end of last year. I didn't just throw him under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> We're not just throwing He's not him here. Him. He's going to do it. All right, let's go down the row. Um, council person McNamara. Well, I, at least I got to believe in myself. <laughs> All right. McNamara. Council person Grant. Jason? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, no. You. Jason. You. You confused me. Okay, council person cost. I know, I, I go in different orders, so don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jason. Camera's excused. Council person Martin. Jason. And council person Passion. Jason. Okay. So we will have Jason as our new president. Can I change um, my vote? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you stepping up as well. So, um, again, it's, it's, it's a lot, it can be a lot of work sometimes, but it can also be fun. All right, next, we will move to village official reports, and we have Chief Matt Dell. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I don't have anything additional to add to the report I submitted, but if you do have any questions, I will be happy to answer those. Just 
Anybody have any questions for Chief at this time? All right, so we're gonna take a quick pause um, with that and we are going to swear in our new sergeant. And it is currently Officer Ferguson that will be our Sergeant Ferguson here shortly. Wait, should we wait? I take it back, Never mind. <laughs> All right. I was on this side for all of them. Should I take pictures from this side? All right. I, Peter Ferguson, do solemnly swear to affirm that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. And laws and, ordinances and laws and ordinances of the village of Mineral Park, of the village of Mineral Park to, which I am appointed. to which I am appointed. And to the best of my ability, I will discharge the duties of this office. Thank you very much. tonight. If anybody has any questions, feel free to email him at any given time. Our engineer, um, I don't, yes. is there a report on Wait, our engineer sent our report. We did just have a meeting with our engineer as well. Mm -hmm. We sure did. Okay, I'll, I'll hear. Thank you. Okay, well, we're going to skip the engineer report because I don't, it. I don't know where I put it. So, um, we have a lot going on in um, with our engineer right now. Our Jordan Road project is slated to start. Um, they actually did move quite a few things in on January 8th. Um, they are doing some work over behind the church right now, and the official kickoff should be January 15th-ish, and they're expecting it to take about two weeks. Um, and then, of course, the seeding and things like that will not take place until the spring. So um, we did discuss in depth quite a few things as far as sanitary sewer, storm sewer, street projects, and all that. We'll let you pick that up here mm -hmm. in a little bit. Um, next is our legal counsel. He also is excused for tonight. Um, he will actually be present at the next council meeting. Um, he had some conflicts with some holidays and things like that that they had to move some stuff around. So he's not here tonight. Um, so then, we will have our village planner, Mr. Eric Fisher. Thank you, Mayor, members of council. Uh, welcome to those who are uh, starting on the terms. We really appreciate it. And uh, Tommy is going to be joining us on the PNC. We'll have our first meeting uh, next week. And then the organizational meeting, and then uh, business will start uh, in February. Um, other than that, I don't have anything major to report other than the general code will be taking inspect here in a few days after the 15th, and then uh, after that done, we'll go from there. Thank you all. I'll take any questions, by the way. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Fisher at this time? <clears throat> okay. Next is our zoning officer. I do believe his report is in there as well. If anybody has any questions, feel free to email him at any time also. 
Um, next, we have planning and zoning. Tommy, I'm not going to throw you under the bus on this one because we've not had a meeting yet. Um, but as Eric just stated, we have some upcoming meetings next week and then um, followed by February. So, in PCA, um, Jason Camera is excused tonight, so we're going to skip that report as well. I don't think anybody has any information from that. Okay. Village committee reports. This will probably go pretty fast too. Um, Tommy is uh, leading our finance committee. And there have been um, no meetings yet. And so. there's, there's been no meetings. So um, look for that here in the next probably a month or so. Next, sorry you guys, you're gonna get a report for this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Starting off the year right. Yes, so we will turn this over to council person costs for streets. So streets had a meeting on Tuesday, so we kind of talked about the um, goals for the next year, what's going on. Uh, we talked about the Jordan Road project that's pretty much slated. It was supposed to be on Monday, but I think um, there were a couple issues with uh, construction materials and also weather delays. So um, they officially started this week, but I think they're actually going to start doing work um, next Monday. And it is slated to the majority of the work to be done in about three weeks, which seems anticlimactic, but also we're going to get it done. Yay. Um, we also talked about a path connectivity project and our goals for the next year. Um, we also spoke about what we're going to do about um, storm and sewers. As always, I like to say that street is not a very glamorous committee, but we get things done. So we're talking about um, monitoring that, cleaning that as necessary. Um, we kind of did go into depth about all of that, and that's, that's it. That's all I got. Perfect. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, we were. It was a long meeting. It was just like <laughs> a, the history of that. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Council Person Martin for services. I have nothing to do with work. Okay. Um, next, we will move to. I'm just going to go through these really quick. Um, Jason has a meeting on Jan Monday, January. I believe it's the 22nd. Whatever that Monday is, it's not obviously next weekend, that's a, or next Monday it's holidays, and the following Monday, um, he has a committee, or a, yeah, the, the pool subcommittee meeting, and then followed by that is going to be his park and rec, so if anybody wants to attend that, um, the park and rec meeting, I believe, is at 6.30 or 7. 7. One's at 6, one's at 7. Okay, so that's Jason's report. Um, safety, we have Kathy Passion leading that. I don't know if you want to say anything. I have the pleasure of spending about 90 seconds with Chief before the meeting. <laughs> I guess safety meets approximately quarterly and certainly we'll be reporting out when we do wind up meeting. In the meantime, please feel free to send me an email if you have anything on your mind. Perfect. All right. Um, and your email, I believe the emails and everything are up and running mm -hmm. on the website and all that. I think they've been there for a little while. So okay. if anybody has any um, questions, they're all on it. And then next we can move to... Councilperson McNamara for legislation. I know you haven't been on there yet, well, so I think you're going to have the same report. Well, yeah, there. Um, for those who aren't aware, there's typically a monthly legislation meeting before the second meeting of the month. I plan to continue that and be able to speak more to upcoming legislation in the future as I grow into that role. So, if we change up the, uh, you know, meeting cadence, we'll. Do so, but right now we're gonna try it out as is. Perfect. All right. Next is my report. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Looking forward to this year. Um, obviously, we have two new council people, so hopefully we can keep a lot of these things keep keep a lot of these things moving. Um, lakes are still top priority. Um, sewers, sanitary, and storm. Road work is gonna continue. Most of those projects you'll start seeing in 2025. And of course, um, some renovations to the pool. Hopefully, we'll start seeing those here um, 2025 as well. So, looking forward to a great year. Simple as that. And then now we have citizen comments. Do we have any citizens that have anything they want to say? And do, do you have the, I can do the, the ones to do? You want me to be the, okay. You are my new clock I, I'm your new right hand. Oh, yeah. You want me to do it? Okay. What? Yeah, All right, can you see it though? You probably Wait, he has one. Oh, he has a better one than I do. I just fired myself. It's still the other one, yeah. Until the next one we do it. Yeah. So, yep. And start? Yeah. Can you tell me what you're doing? 
get started after I say my name. Sorry. <laughs> I need a few seconds I can get. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Denise Morrison, 2698 Wildwood Road. Um, my first order of business is I have a concern about a possible conflict of interest um, with the um, fireworks proposal or what I'm hearing about the fire, possibility of the fireworks uh, place coming in to the GFS. And the um, Um, the involvement of members of the village government who may have a conflict of interest based on outside jobs which have to do with realty. And if you want me to be specific, um, I believe Mr. Fisher has a lot of involvement in the decisions or in putting this together, possibly, and he works for an a national investment realty company where he works with real estate and high volume um, sales and buildings, etc. So uh, that's my first order of business for myself. And my second one is um, Is there something wrong? No, I'm making my comments for you. Oh, okay. um, my second. Uh, thing is trust. Um, I've been here for over 24 years and have believed that um, or have wanted to believe everything that came out of our government's mouth. Um, there was an, uh, a news article about Whitehall and how their um, open meetings um, they were having meetings that were, um, should have been open meetings where they weren't, um, as well as other things. And uh, I believe that, well, I've been looking for the ethics for the village government and haven't been able to find it. So I thought I would recite a few things that um, pertain to ethics and um, hopes of getting more of an understanding of what I expect. Um, Ohio Ethics Commission says every Ohioan has the right to expect that public decisions and public expenditures are objective and made with the public's best interest at heart, not the interest of individual public officials and employees. Um, some of us find that um, the public officials may have an interest that's not of ours. Um, it's not for us. Uh, a public official has a conflict of interest when his or her ability to be an objective decision maker would be impaired by his or her own interests. Taxpayers in Ohio, that would be me, and I would like to not work and not have to pay your salaries, but I do have to. Taxpayers in Ohio deserve to know that government decisions, whether at the state or local level, are not compromised and I say compromised, by a specific public servant's benefit or personal gain. Now, we don't have a mission or a policy statement, um, but this one is out of the Ohio Administrative Code, Code of Ethics, Rule 4123-1503, and it's the same one for the village of Brewster in Ohio, and this would be good for us. It is the policy of the village council to carry out its missions in accordance with the strictest ethical guidelines and to ensure that village officials and village employees conduct themselves in a manner that fosters public confidence in the integrity of the officials and the employees of the village, its process and its accomplishments. Uh, model ethics policy for state agencies, Ohio Ethics Commission, members and employees must conduct themselves at all times in a manner that avoids favoritism, bias, and the appearance of impropriety. The reason I bring that up is I wish to um, 
state that when I had a concern or a, um, well, actually, I just would like to ask for an investigative hearing. And since I'm almost done, I will send you an email. May I address? It's going to be you or me, so go for it. I appreciate that, Mayor. So, for Council's knowledge, I am a real estate agent full time and with National Investment Realty, LLC. Uh, I do not represent GFS or the Phantom Fireworks in any way, shape, or form. Uh, in matter of point, when GFS became available on the market, I did have a client that wanted to uh, purchase it, wanted to bring a beauty spa to the area, not a fireworks store. And so that was the extent of my involvement. He did not win his bid. There were many, many bids on that uh, store. So that's the way it goes. I will also say for the record that I will not, at a personal level, tolerate defamation. If I am getting defamed, I have attorneys. I will have them speak to other people's attorneys. So, my pleasure. Anyways, thank you, Mary. And the only other comment that I will make, and that I did appreciate this from our village planner, is when he did have the person that was interested in GFS, he brought it to my attention, and he also brought it to our attorney's attention to make sure that it was not a conflict of interest. So, that was the only other point that I wanted to make. <coughs> All right, citizen comments. I'm Lisa Pratt of Philo, 3071 Burnley Road. Um, I sent council an email. You all know what it's about. Uh, first, I guess I'd like to say welcome to the two new council people. Thanks for stepping up. I'd also like to say um, I appreciate the village being the school sponsor for the community garden. Just found out that that's going on today. Um, I don't think I need to go back over what I said. I think I pretty much explained my wishes. I prefer not to be targeted anymore. Um, but I would like to say that this village for a long time has had a lot of issue with code enforcement, meaning poor code enforcement as far as I'm concerned. And I guess I'd like to see as much attention paid to that, the code enforcement that needs to be taken care of, as to the snow stakes in my yard. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing you in forever. <laughs> Jory Howard, 2785 Wildwood. Sorry, Jeff, I didn't tell you I was getting up here. Um, <laughs> I just wonder if anybody else has a concern about the entrance to Hawthorne off of 161 the air, you know, the white pylon area that's there, and um, I tried to contact Glendon because I was told that's who I should contact. I never got a response. Um, the pylons usually there's three. There should be what five or six people go through them. I think it's a very dangerous entrance to a school, to a village. I can't believe that we, we don't have something better for these people to be entering into Farview, into Hawthorne, into that area. It's dangerous. I don't know if anybody's working on that. Um, it's dangerous entering the village off of Wildwood. I think at one point, even our chief called that the suicide lane, turning onto mm -hmm. Wildwood Road. And I think it's dangerous entering the village off of Route 3, Mm -hmm. coming into Minerva Lake Road, and I would like to see some activity um, and a response. Is, is anybody else thinking that it's not a good <laughs> setup? I mean, it's not even lined up properly. You can't um, make a good whip through there to miss traffic mm -hmm. and hope that you don't hit that time mm -hmm. in terms of how far it's been. Yeah. So, Do you want to give a two-second yes, update on just yeah. the the Westerville Road, at least. Well, yeah, we yeah. actually can address a couple of those. So, so on Westerville Road, it's been a couple years project, but ODOT, uh, it, who's actually also responsible for 161, not, not one, but ODOT has a project finally approved and uh, funded, and they're going to adjust the intersection and add a, add a diesel lane down there and, and correct for some of the, the problems where we see people racing and the, the dangerous T-bone uh, accidents that have occurred down there. So they, that's, unfortunately, takes time. It's also a state route outside our, our direct 
jurisdiction, but ODOT has on it, and they're going to start that project, I expect, this year. So, from the last we heard. 161, you know, it used to be a much worse intersection. It used to be wide open. Um, prior to the installing, uh, you know, and making it left in, uh, right there, you can't go straight across anymore for obvious reasons, and you can't make the left out, you know, that way. So it's only, it's only right, it's only left in and right out right there from that point. That's the safest solution that they put in place, you know, after it was in a full access existence for so long. Um, I don't know if it warrants a flight or not. We have to talk to ODOT as well on that, but, you know, I don't know. You know ODOT has rules and responsibilities for those state routes, and that's, that's one thing. So. What do we do as citizens to be able to request a light? Well, that would be, yeah, that would be in ODOT's jurisdiction rule set. You can, you can talk to someone at ODOT. Um, if you want perhaps a little more, I guess, a little more whole, then I would say your state rep are the ones who speak to the residents in that particular case. So they, can, they, they can proceed with, you know, going through the state system to try to get attention on that. And again, it may be a, a long-range thing. So um, when I when I ask for an update, I'll, I'll ask if there's anything moving on that. We haven't been we haven't been told that there's going to be any changes to the to the current design. So I don't I don't think that they've got anything in process. Uh, they usually do tell us when they've got something in the works. You know, again, we knew about State Route Three several years ago when they were beginning their work on it. They, they talked to us about it. But. It might deter some of the racing in the street. Maybe another light because possibly. I mean, again, that's not our jurisdiction there. So that was their solution. So, so you're out, saying as a citizen we should contact our state representative? I think that's one way to go. And I think I think contact and go out directly. They can you know, call them. They, they're, they're decent about putting you in touch with a planner or, or an engineer, you know, to talk about whoever has this area, you know. And you can start that conversation with them. Excuse me, with them. So Thank you. Yes, sir. I just need clarification. When you say pylons, what exactly are you describing? Those white, they're not, they don't even look permanent, they are, but you know. So you're talking about the, the reflective, the yes. brake wheels? Yes, the, yes. the brake right. wheels. Right. Yeah. Okay, the time. Right. Okay. Yeah, so uh, every winter we lose all of them. A lot of them. <laughs> uh, every time there's a, uh, someone comes down through there and then suddenly at the last second decide where you need to turn left, mm -hmm. they run over a couple of them, um, they get hit by uh, mobs. Cars, you know, people not paying attention, uh, texting, driving, whatever. So each spring, ODOT comes out and replaces, you know, those things like all over the place. So typically, we get those replaced in March, April. I mean, it seems like a waste of money to do something better than that. Obviously, they're not working because people are plowing through them to safety hazard. Yeah, if we put up concrete walls, though, I think it would be worse. I think a traffic light would be. I mean, you're entering into a school. And especially with now we have three schools coming through there. So we it, do. Might, it yeah. might be something, but I, yeah, I applaud your efforts. Please reach out. And, yeah. uh, we'll touch we'll from our side. Too. I, I don't disagree with your assessment. I, you know, a light that needs to get warranted it might be able to get warranted. And we can help push it along, too. It, it, a light would be helpful. It's far enough away from the other intersections where it would, would qualify if it gets warranted. So. I think so. Yeah. I can speak for Representative of the Lockheed's. Her and her team are very responsive and receptive. So that's a great starting point when you choose to take the uh, route of the state legislature. I mean, I would think that the village would take. Well, yeah. The yeah. yeah. first step. Yes. Well, not, well, not as ODOT. And yeah. so it takes, sometimes it takes a village, no pun intended, to come in all the directions to kind of move the needle a little bit. Okay. Yeah, by, by no means was that attempted to, you know, shove it all on you. Right. I mean, it helps when they're a resident, it helps when there's a municipality, and it helps when the state reps get involved. You know, if everybody, if it's that important, then everybody kind of has to work. I need to wait until somebody gets hurt seriously right there, and it's inevitable. It's a terrible situation. So. It's not the best solution. We can say that for sure. Yeah. Next, we're going to do the legislation. All right, moving into legislation. The first ordinance of the year, Ordinance um, 01 2024.
This is an ordinance to amend the Code of Ordinances, Village of Minerva Park, Ohio, to provide amendments to traffic, Minerva Park Village Code sections 4.01, to provide for penalties, to provide for codification, to provide for severability, to repeal conflicting ordinances, to provide an effective date, and for other purposes. Now this is for compliance with the Ohio Revised Code based on their latest um, amendments to the laws on distracted driving in the state of Ohio. This is a first reading with intent to suspend the rules and require three readings and pass as an emergency. So with that, I will move for suspension of the rule requiring three readings. Second. 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 I got you. All right. Any discussion? All right. Is this a roll call one? Yep. All right. All right. So go ahead and let's roll. Kathy Passion. Right. Council person Passion. Sorry, I'm calling you by your first name. Pass. Council person Passion. Pass. So you're seeing. Council person Martin. Aye. Council person McNamara. Aye. Council person Gray. Aye. And council person Koss. Aye. All right. All right. With the uh, rules requiring three readings suspended, I move to pass this as an emergency so that we can be in compliance with the Ohio Revised Code immediately. I'll second that. Okay. All right. Any debate? Discussion? All right. Madam Mayor. Council person Passion. Aye. Council Person Martin? Aye. Council Person McNamara? Aye. Council Person Green? Aye. And Council Person Cox? Aye. All right. The motion passes. We now move to Ordinance 02 2024. This is an ordinance enacting a municipal motor vehicle license fee pursuant to Section 4504.06 of the Ohio Revised Code. This is just a first reading relating to a be as it applies to car registration in Minerva Park. We'll move to Ordinance 03-2024, an ordinance enacting a municipal motor vehicle license fee pursuant to sections 4504.17, 4504.171, 4504.18, 4504.19, 4504.20, 4504.21, 4504.22, 4504.23, 4504.24, 4504.25, 4504.26, 4504.27, 4504.28, 4504.29, 4504.30, 4504.31, 4504.32, 4504.33, 4504.34, 4504.35, 4504.36, 4504.37, 4504.38, 4504.39, 4504.40, 4504.41, 4504.42, 4504.43, 4504.44, 4504.45, 4504.46, 4504.47, 4504.48, 4504.49, 4504.50, 4504.51, 4504.52, 4504.53, 4504.54, 4504.55, 4504.56, 4504.57, 4504.58, 4504.59, 4504.60, 4504.61, 4504.62, 4504.63, 4504.64, 4504.65, 4504.66, 4504.67, 4504.68, 4504.69, 4504.70, 4504.71, 4504.72, 4504.73, 4504.74, 4504.75, 4504.76, 4504.77, 4504.78, 4504.79, 4504.80, 4504.81, 4504.82, 4504.83, 4504.84, 4504.85, 4504.86, 4504.87, 4504.88, 4504.89, 4504.90, 4504.91, 4504.92, 4504.93, 4504.94, 4504.95, 4504.96, 4504.97, 4504.98, 4504.99, 4504.10, 4504.11, 4504.12, 4504.13, 4504.14, 4504.15, 4504.16, 4504.17, 4504.18, 4504.19, 4504.20, 4504.21, 4504.22, 4504.23, 4504.24, 4504.25, 4504.26, 4504.27, 4504.28, 4504.29, 4504.30, 4504.31, 4504.32, 4504.33, 4504.34, 4504.35, 4504.36, 4504.37, 4504.38, 4504.39, 4504.40, 4504.41, 4504.42, 4504.43, 4504.44, 4504.45, 4504.46, 4504.47, 4504.48, 4504.49, 4504.51, 4504.52, 4504.53, 4504.54, 4504.55, 4504.56, 4504.57, 4504.58, 4504.59, 4504.60, 4504.61, 4504.62, 4504.63, 4504.64, 4504.65, 4504.66, 4504.67, 4504.68, 4504.69, 4504.70, 4504.71, 4504.72, 4504.73, 4504.74, 4504.75, 4504.76, 4504.77, 4504.78, 4504.79, 4504.80, 4504.81, 4504.82, 4504.83, 4504.84, 4504.85, 4504.86, 4504.87, 4504.88, 4504.89, 4504.90, 4504.91, 4504.92, 4504.93, 4504.94, 4504.95, 4504.96, 4504.97, 4504.98, 4504.99, 4504.10, 4504.11, 4504.12, 4504.13, 4504.14, 4504.15, 4504.16, 4504.17, 4504.18, 4504.19, 4504.20, 4504.21, 4504.22, 4504.23, 4504.24, 4504.25, 4504.26, 4504.27, 4504.28, 4504.29, 4504.30, 4504.31, 4504.32, 4504.33, 4504.34, 4504.35, 4504.36, 4504.37, 4504.38, 4504.39, 4504.40, 4504.41, 4504.42, 4504.43, 4504.44, 4504.45, 4504.46, 4504.47, 4504.48, 4504.49, 4504.51, 4504.52, 4504.53, 4504.54, 4504.55, 4504.56, 4504.57, 4504.58, 4504.59, 4504.60, 4504.61, 4504.62, 4504.63, 4504.64, 4504.65, 4504.66, 4504.67, 4504.68, 4504.69, 4504.70, 4504.71, 4504.72, 4504.73, 4504.74, 4504.75, 4504.76, 4504.77, 4504.78, 4504.79, 4504.80, 4504.81, 4504.82, 4504.83, 4504.84, 4504.85, 4504.86, 4504.87, 4505.86, 4505.88, 4505.89, 4505.90, 4505.91, 4505.92, 4505.93, 4505.94, 4505.95, 4506.97, 4506.98, 4506.99, 4506.10, 4506.11, 4506.12, 4507.13, 4507.14, 4507.15, 4507.16, 4507.17, 4507.18, 4507.19, 4507.20, 4507.21, 4507.22, 4507.23, 4507.24, 4507.25, 4507.26, 4507.27, 4507.28, 4507.29, 4507.30, 4507.31, 4507.32, 4507.33, 4507.34, 4507.35, 4507.36, 4507.37, 4507.38, 4507.39, 4507.40, 4507.41, 4507.42, 4507.43, 4507.44, 4507.45, 4507.46, 4507.47, 4507.48, 4507.49, 4507.50, 4507.51, 4507.52, 4507.53, 4507.54, 4507.55, 4507.56, 4507.57, 4507.58, 4507.59, 4507.60, 4507.61, 4507.62, 4507.63, 4507.64, 4507.65, 4507.66, 4507.67, 4507.68, 4507.69, 4507.70, 4507.71, 4507.72, 4507.73, 4507.74, 4507.75, 4507.76, 4507.77, 4507.78, 4507.79, 4507.80, 4507.81, 4507.82, 4507.83, 4507.84, 4507.85, 4507.86, 4507.87, 4507.88, 4507.89, 4507.90, 4507.91, 4507.92, 4507.93, 4507.94, 4507.95, 4507.96, 4507.97, 4507.98, 4507.99, 4507.100, 4507.101, 4507.102, 4507.103, 4507.104, 4507.105, 4507.106, 4507.107, 4507.108, 4507.109, 4507.110, 4507.111, 4507.112, 4507.113, 4507.114, 4507.115, 4507.116, 4507.117, 4507.118, 4507.119, 4507.120, 4507.121, 4507.122, 4507.123, 4507.124, 4507.125, 4507.126, 4507.127, 4507.128, 4507.129, 4507.130, 4507.131, 4507.132, 4507.133, 4507.134, 4507.135, 4507.136, 4507.137, 4507.138, 4507.139, 4507.140, 4507.151, 4507.152, 4507.153, 4507.154, 4507.155, 4507.156, 4507.157, 4507.158, 4507.159, 4507.160, 4507.171, 4507.172, 4507.173, 4507.174, 4507.175, 4507.176, 4507.178, 4507.179, 4507.178, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 4507.179, 
Do we have, do you want to have a little discussion or just no? I was going to do that after okay. we get the second one. Sure. Mm -hmm. I second. Yeah. I just want to just clarify that we just, the reason we're doing this, well, everybody left, but anybody watching, um, we're just doing this just to make sure that all of our village uh, employees are getting their raise on time. Um, just because as I understand, there was a discrepancy with the pay period because it started in the last year. Um, so I just want to make sure everybody um, gets the raise they deserve. That's it. Correct. Ta-da. Okay, that's all I got. You all guys right. deserve it all. I'm very proud yes. of you. Thank you for all the work that you did. All right, we have a second from Councilperson Patchen, and let's move. Does anybody have any discussions? All right, Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Councilperson Koss. Aye. And Councilperson McNamara. Aye. All right, that motion passes well. Let's move to resolution 2024-01. This is a resolution adopting the rules of council for the council of the village of Minerva Park for 2024. And as this is a, just a first reading, no further action is necessary at this moment. Should we choose to explore it and amend it, it can be passed as amended. Mm -hmm. Or tabled for longer discussion, who knows? Please. But also, that part also has some ethical guidelines in there as well. Well, yes. So, yes, just it does. FYI. Uh, resolution 2024-02. This is a resolution requesting the county treasurer to provide advance payment of taxes and other sources payable to the village as they become available during 2024 and to declare an emergency. This is um, a version legislation based on a deadline from Franklin County to make sure that we can get our money available to us to use. Um, so with that, I move that we waive readings. I think that's because, and excuse yeah. me for being young. Um, 29. Because they release us quarterly, is that right? Is that what Yeah, that so what you want to get an advance on that. Um, so in order for us to get an advance and be able to invest that money, we want okay. to um, get yeah, that we, money now. Yeah, it's better than just sitting in the Franklin County Auditor's account. Correct. So this is, yeah. So that's why we're passing it. Yep. It's an emergency. So I move four passages. Or I do the wave readings. There we go. Wave the second and third reading. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Sign me up. Sign me up. It's <laughs> so <laughs> All right. Is there any discussion? Additional discussion. Okay. Councilperson Martin. Councilperson Green? Aye. Councilperson Passion? Aye. Councilperson Koss? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. All right. And having suspended the final two readings, I move for passage as an emergency. Second. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Somebody. Is there any discussion? <laughs> any discussion? All right. Councilperson Martin? Aye. Councilperson Green? Aye. Councilperson Passion? Aye. Councilperson Koss? Aye. And Councilperson McNamara? Aye. All right. Resolution 2024-03 passes as well. Now we move to Resolution 2024-04, a resolution to approve the acceptance of a grant awarded by the Firehouse Sub Safety Foundation in the amount of $9,877 for the procurement of AEDs for the village of Minerva Park and declaring an emergency. The reason that this is declared an emergency, correct me if I'm wrong, Barb, is a deadline on the acceptance of the grant? Yes, sir. All right, fantastic. So, seeing as we want the grant to get our AEDs, I will move that we uh, suspend the rules requiring three readings. Second. Yep. All right, any discussion? Here's some discussion. The seven AEDs will be able to get with us. One will go in the community building, one will go in the pool, and there'll be one for each of the five cruisers. So our ability to restart a heart will be um, as widespread as we can make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so. All right, who's second at that? Council person Grant. All right. And we have Council Person Grant. Councilperson Passion? Aye. Councilperson Koss? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. And Councilperson Martin? Aye. All right, having waived greetings, I move that we pass as an emergency to get these AEDs. Second. Okay. Good job. 
All right. Discussion. Any discussion? Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Councilperson Cross. Aye. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. All right. All right. Now, lastly, we have Resolution 2024-05. It's not the last one, but keep mm -hmm. going. Did we skip on the last one? Yes, we skipped one. It's okay. Did just keep going. Nope, just keep going. We'll get it. Okay, that's just all that's on my paper. Um, resolution 2024-05. This is a resolution authorizing and approving the execution of a contract with the city of... Oh, I skipped the pool one. <laughs> we'll do that one next. <laughs> all right, this is a... Resolution authorizing and approving the execution of a contract with the City of Columbus for fire and EMS services and declaring an emergency. Uh, and this would be, again, a deadline on um, the EMS and fire services end. So I move that we waive the second and third reading. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Councilperson Goss? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. Councilperson Passion? Aye. Councilperson Grant? Aye. Councilperson Martin? Aye. All right. Can I wait for readings? I hope we pass as an emergency. Second. Any discussions? Madam Mayor. <laughs> All right. Councilperson Cox? Aye. Councilperson Martin? Aye. Councilperson Passion? Aye. Councilperson Grant? Aye. Councilperson McNamara? Aye. All right, let's uh, go back in time a little bit to resolution 2024-03, a resolution adjusting the fees as passed in resolution 2022-35 for membership at the Minerva Park Pool for the 2024 summer season and declaring an emergency. This is an adjustment with the babysitter and caregiver adjustment. Um, I can't speak completely thoroughly to that. Does anyone have any input on it? What exactly has changed on it? Seventy dollars for the babysitter. What the babysitter caregiver, um, I believe, was excluded from the fee schedule. All right, so we are just getting everything back. So we're just putting it back the way that it was. It was seven, I believe it was seventy dollars. Shower payment seventy dollars. So right. yeah, we just skipped the baby skip babysitter on the sheet. All right. Well, let's uh, get everything congruent and consistent again. I move that we, um, I move that we suspend the second and third reading. Second. Second. Oh. All right. Any discussion? All right. Councilperson Cross. Aye. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Councilperson Grant. Aye. Councilperson Martin. Aye. Okay. All right. Having suspended the second and third reading, I move that he passes an emergency. Second. Any discussion? All right. Councilperson Cross. Aye. Councilperson McNamara. Aye. Councilperson Passion. Aye. Councilperson Grant. Aye. And Councilperson Martin. Aye. All right. And that concludes the legislation. All right. Anybody for old business? I have something briefly. Go for it. I am. Uh, I sent out a follow-up request for information to Representative Abdullahi about um, what the results of the digging for the, um, as I said, more unusual or abstract um, state money for the Minerva, Minerva Lake is. So I will update as I hear back. Perfect. I appreciate that. Does I, anybody else have a business? Yeah, I can bring up something. Um, as per protocol around every major holiday with fireworks, I will tell you that I am aware of all the citizens complaining about the shooting off of fireworks and the disturbance to their animals and children. So please don't think that uh, we don't notice that, or I don't notice that. Okay. Does anybody else have anything for old business? This isn't really old business. Well, I mean, so we got the um, radar sign from an Lake Road. There's a glitch in it. We sent it back today, and it should be back in about a week or two, or three. We're going to go. They said two, so probably three. Um, what is the glitch? Um, is it kilometers instead of miles per hour? Probably. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't get it. 
a bathtub. I thought we were so fancy no. with our kilometers. Um, they said something about static in something, and it was like technical terms. So they said it was broke. So that was what we that that was as far as I got it. But something to do with static. Um, so that's coming. So I don't want you to think that we got it and. Just yeah. <laughs> and so, no, we have it, we sent it back, and we're waiting for the new one. Anybody with new business? Mm -hmm. yes. Do you have, no? Oh, have me this building. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I have a list. I forgot about the list. <coughs> All right. Um, council members, anybody that is interested in going to the Ohio Municipal League training, we already have um, Council Person Passion on the list to go. It is, there's an email that's been sent to you, but it is on March 2nd, which is probably a Saturday, it usually is. is. Um, so if there's anybody that's interested, please let Barb know ASAP. Um, the village does pay for it. It's great training, great um, information. So anybody that's interested, if you've gone to it before, you can go to it again or tell everybody how wonderful it is. Yeah. So I could use a refresher. Yeah, so there you go. So reach out to Barb so she can sign everybody up at the same time if you're interested. Maybe um, by the end of tomorrow, is there a certain day you need to know by? February 10th. Yeah, beginning of February. They're, they don't need their, their confirmation doesn't need to be done until like the first okay. or second week of February. So everybody check your calendars and make sure you can go and do all that and then let Barb know in the next short amount of time if that's something that you guys are interested in. Yeah. Time to do that. Is that yeah. Go on. Move to adjourn. Yeah, I'm planning on no, she said move to adjourn. Move to oh, adjourn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All those in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Yeah. Any abstentions? That was music to my ears for that one. That's <laughs> 51 minutes. Anyway, <laughs> stop recorders. Stop recorders.